Now, yes, I'm pretty sure many of us are trying to think of ways on how, uh, or if we even will, uh, defeat Bloody Mary. I think he's definitely met his match. Bigby, I don't know, man. He may not be able to do anything to her, especially she's using silver bullets. Uh, the axe she's carrying, I'm pretty sure, is has silver uh, constructed into it. What would her transformation form be? Like, what would be her form? I can't even imagine what that would even look like. And this very interesting character here, this bald gentleman. Uh, I never really paid too much attention to him. And I'm not looking, the, I'm not liking the, uh, the way this is starting. So in Sheep's Clothing, episode four, looks like something's about to go down between the two of them, or something's going to be revealed uh, that we may have missed about this guy. afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shot. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? The old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. What... <clears throat> what happened to me? There was... You got lucky and found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon. Me. Please, Bigby, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh, oh, just set it. Yeah, a absolutely, Doc. You know, no biggie. Let's just go Have ahead and snap it. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Oh. 
See now, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Almost brought the wolf out of him. Yeah, that had That'll been pretty, do. pretty You're painful. Probably better off. This way, I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind... Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please. I could do this with my optic nerves severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc. How much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. With what? Your hooves? Hey, listen, please, lady. Please, keep it down back there. Thank you. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I can still hear you. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? Hmm, there's some history there. Absolutely. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not much worse. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. You had us. <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were, I don't know, it was just awful. Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. 
He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. <sighs> so he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. All right, I'm not faulting you. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. Of course I'm pissed, but... It's done is done. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is... Just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? Crane was a puppet, and the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need oh, monsters not? to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried and we can all move on. We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. What? And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking wow. break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Come on, the phone's ringing. Can't just wait till later. Colin isn't going anywhere. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now?
Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Well, I don't necessarily choose friendship over the rules. However, I did blow his house down once upon a time. You know, at least I can let him live here. Okay, so there we got Little Mermaid. Hopefully she gives me something solid. You know, something that I can use. She did help me with that the, the hotel, though. She gave me the two, 204 key. And that's how we uh, got into 207, thanks to Beauty. And kind of where this whole thing unfolded, or began, anyway. But I'm not, I'm not really sure what, uh, what she's going to tell me. But what's the guy? I can't remember the guy's name. The ball guy, who's always just at a ten, always at a ten. He seems to have a personal interest in, in Crane as well. So I'm not really sure. But the resemblance in the limo, though, that couldn't have been that guy. Couldn't have been a ball guy. I don't think so, Mr. Demon Bartender. I forgot his name. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Nerissa. Have a seat. Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? So there is a spell. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me, and you sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. And you sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. I 
If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now... Like flounder. And I don't know what to do. Hmm. Is this making any sense? Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Oh, fuck. Okay. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. No, no, fuck. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... It's okay. Take your time. You better not. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's ah. the ribbon, isn't it? So can't we just take it off? No, if it was that easy, she would have taken it off. No, 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 I don't... Can't we just take the ribbon off? No, no! no his lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! No, no, I was just asking. Can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not going to do anything. Please, don't. I just was asking a question. I didn't know that was going to be like, hey, let's attempt to pull this okay. off. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off, they may kill her. Sorry, I wish I could do something. If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably snow. But is it snow? Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. I won't say anything. Please. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. Thank you. Sorry. I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. I, wait, you don't oh, have to go. She just threw me a hint right there. That was... abrupt. She keeps I'm giving me the sure idea that someone's in trouble, too. I mean, she tried hitting a few what times, like, at her friends and... Keeping them safe, things like that. Hmm. Did you get anything from her? Don't worry. I handled it. She couldn't talk because of the magic, but we managed to understand each other. I did my job, my way. What did you expect? Do you really want to know? Because you have given me reason to doubt you. Surely even you can see that. And the past few days have been... Trying 
You have to trust me, Snow. And I'm pretty sure she left convinced we're on the right track. Okay, then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Oh, shit. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. That's not normal, Snow. You normally don't go running off all the time by yourself. Hear that. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on here. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. I'll make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen. Fine, go off in a huff. I'm, I'm through talking anyway. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? Stirring the pot? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. Oh, she's fucked. Surprising me a lot lately. I shouldn't have said that. Can I? So have you, Big B. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who's there? Beast? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Yeah, Beast is pretty pissed. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What is he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast! I just don't think we can trust him. It's a nice little layout. He went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. My wife would do that. About that? Or do you want to try to mm. sort this out? Talk All about living in the past. Our own. You didn't have to bring it here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later, but we need to talk to Big B. So there's something obviously going on, and they they've just used all the resources, and they need outside help. So, and I think. I think I kind of ruined it with Beast way before he even got to the hotel Sorry, because I didn't tell him the truth. It's kind of my yeah, own fault. You know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? 
beast. No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle. Okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Yep. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't we come to the that. phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... What the fuck was that? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I should Probably have just it. a wrong number. Really? I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. The phone rings off the hook sometimes. Who was that? You know who that was. Don't hold out on me. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people. Trying to collect, and we aren't safe, even in our own home. We owe some money. Finally. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. Did you ever see the Crooked Man there? When you got your loan? Or just shopping? No, never. But, come on, it's his place. And the Jersey Devil never lets you forget it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you. 
But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know. I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. I mean, he may be telling the truth about wanting to actually to provide like for beauty, but I, I can't say I trust Beast. High. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. No. Probably not. Mm -hmm. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Interesting. So we're about to get to uh, a very serious, serious decision point. Do we go to the Lucky Pawn? Or do we go to the Butcher Shop? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. Hmm. Interesting. So if we the lucky pawn, that's where if I we the money. go there. You know that butcher shop, the cut above. The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. You know that butcher shop, the cut above. The lucky pawn, that's where I borrowed the money. So the crooked man's behind. We're gonna go with the lucky pawn. The information the at pawn. least has some weight That's behind it because, I mean, really, Beauty has kind of been good. She's been good. She's kind of helped the us. Lucky pawn. That's where I the money. Now, if we go to the butcher place, you know then I feel like the cut above. Beast will lie to us to throw us off. I don't think it's meat and he could be doing it because of that phone call because we really don't know what you know was said on the phone shop, call. The cut above. We're going to the pawn. The lucky pawn. I'm going to the Lucky Pond. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? A what? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. Ah. Uh. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you get that idea. We just, we know that the crooked man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. You, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Bigby. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. 